What's up guys? This is Jeremy here from Achievement Hunter and uh, I'm doing some guides in Unravel for No Stone Unturned. It's gonna be a two-part thing. This first one is gonna be 20 fucking minutes. You know why? Because there's 55 collectibles in this game. There's five per level and um, they're called secrets. So there you go. Now you know why I'm saying secrets even though some of them aren't so secret. The first one in Thistle and Weeds is as you pass that birdhouse. Climb your way down here. They'll pretty much tell you like, hey, idiot, you're not supposed to be here. Climb back up. Instead, pull the thistle down, show that you won't be controlled by the messages, and grab the first secret. Now, the second one in the level is going to be when you reach this lawn chair. Pull down the lever. Bink, it'll lower the chair like that. A lot of these are kind of along the beaten path. But, uh, you know, they're definitely missable. The first level, they're kind of easier, obviously. But uh, later on, some of them get really, really complicated. So what we want to do is jump up this cinder block and you're supposed to go up these sunflowers. Instead, run down, pull down these thistles. Just like that. They make a very satisfying noise when you pull them down and grab the uh, second thing there. What is it called? Secret. You grab the second secret. I'm proud of you. Okay, the third secret is going to be as you get off of the tricycle. You will see it on the right there. It's kind of in that cliff. But you can't jump up because you just skipped leg day again. So what you have to do is swing up this tree like Tarzan. Uh, that is just who you are in this game. They call you Yarnzan, actually. Swing across, and uh, once you reach the other side, you're gonna want to climb up and tie a knot, because um, as you'll learn, you can hang down from anchor points. But if you tie a knot, you can use like pretty much an endless amount of yarn. Um, if you just if you don't tie a knot, you only get about a foot before yarn is like, oh my my heart. Uh, when you reach the area with the sandbox and the teeter-totter, you're gonna push this block across. This is me kind of forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just like noticing that I'm Spider-Man and I'm having fun. Pull these thistles down. I'll get an achievement for pulling down all the thistles and that's why I freeze there. I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, which there is a guide for that on AchievementHunter.com, so watch that. Uh, you're supposed to weigh down the left side of this teeter-totter so you can run up onto that rock on the right. Instead, weigh down the right side, run up the left, and there is an anchor point up there with your fourth secret. So, well done you. Yay, jumping in celebration. On to the fifth secret in Thistle and Weeds. This is the last one. Uh, again, you're going to progress just like normal. Make these two yarn bridges here and pull this metal tin looking thing all the way across. I could probably read it and tell you exactly what it is, but I'm not going to read something that's upside down. I'm far too lazy for that. So jump up. You're supposed to head right, so that way into the sunlight to finish the level. Instead, jump to the left. Pause for a second so you can see Yarny's thinking face. Wait for it. Wait for it. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Okay, and then jump into the basket and grab your fifth secret, and that's it. You're done for the first level. Well done, you. See? It's not as hard as it looks. Now for something as hard as it looks. This is the first secret in the C level. This one has its own achievement because it's so, like, stupidly annoying. As you pass the third tree, which is right here on the kite, you're going to want to snake your way between these two branches on the fourth tree and just clip that secret, which is on the top of that branch. And uh, by doing that, you'll get yourself the eagle eye achievement, which we also have a guide for if you want this in a little more depth, but that's your first secret in the sea. Now, uh, for the second secret, you're going to swing across these pipes. Grab this extra yarn here. Again, you'll have to go to this area to progress in the level. And you're going to want to jump down onto that rock in the water. Now, you can't really see the secret right now because it's hidden behind the glare of the sun in the water. There it is right there. Um, so you can just kind of jump in the water, grab it, and quickly jump back onto the rock. Instead, I uh, lowered myself off of the pipe and then plucked it out of the water and then fell in anyways like an idiot. So I tried to look cool and I wasn't. Mission Impossible. That Okay. Now, jump down off of this dock for the third one, and I'm going to run all the way to the left to show you that the secret is right there. But, I don't have enough yarn to get there, so that's the issue with that. Now, if you are a smart person, what you want to do is drop down right here and go get some extra yarn. If you are a badass like me, what you're going to do is drop off the edge of the dock and swing down through the waving water. Whoa! And grab that yarn. That was the coolest thing ever. Just kidding, I totally didn't know that was a path. So this is me jumping over here like, oh, wait, wait, what the? Oh, I could, all right, 
Yeah, and then that's me just walking back. So now that I've got enough yarn to make the journey, I run all the way to the left and snag that third secret for the sea. So, congrats to you. Here we go. On to the fourth secret. Once you cross that waving water area, so you can see the waves below me still, I swung across on the bottom. Now you have to swing back on the top of this dock. And you can see the secret on the left there. It's like way up at the top. Now, if you tie in a uh, knot at the top of this anchor point, you can extend your string enough that you can just swing over and grab that. Instead, I uh, decided to let go. Which, you know, could result in your death if you're not careful. So I would recommend just tying a knot, swinging over, grabbing it, and then going back and untying it. It'll take a little more time, but oh well. Okay, uh, so for the fifth one, you're going to be in the boathouse. And you're going to progress through here like normal. Just uh, climb up here, push these boxes over to the right. This, I felt like, was the first puzzle in the game that was kind of like... Oh god, this is like kind of intense. There was like just a lot of shit you had to do. Like, push the boxes over, climb up here. This whole area is really dark too. Then you have to swing across these hooks, which for some reason took me like eight years to figure out. So that's why there was that fade there. But then you gotta swing onto this pulley, and then you're gonna wanna swing over to the second pulley. If you land on it, awesome. If you go over it, that's still good because you can climb your yarn back up to it. And once you are on this second pulley, you're going to want to swing across to the secret, which is on the right. Bink. Just like that. And that is it for the sea. So we are moving on to the next level now, which is Berry Mire. And I'm going to want to say Berry Mine this whole time because as a child, I knew the truth is that you mined berries. You don't pick them off of bushes. And I mean, that's just fact. Uh, the first secret is going to be, it's right above your head when you start the level, so you're going to want to walk forward until you see, uh, the tree with the mushroom at the bottom. And then I climb up, make a yarn bridge right here, stand on that to get to the next anchor point. Climb up, tie a knot there, sling across, tie a knot here, this makes a second yarn bridge. Now I can jump across the way, this is going to be badass, ready? Boing, swing, dink! Nailed it. 10 from the Russian judge. That was excellent. Grab that secret. And that is your first one for Berry Meyer. Also known to most people as Berry Mine. Like, even that font. I don't know what it is. It says Berry Mine. Uh, a little later in the level, you will slide down these rocks in like a cutscene kind of thing. And this one's super easy. You just hold left trigger, climb back up the mountain, and snag the secret out of that uh, little hidey hole there. So that one's pretty simple. The next one is a little complicated. When you get to this uh, structure that has the hatchet in it, it, there's like a wood stove up top. You're going to want to, uh, you know, progress just like normal. You're supposed to go over the wood stove and continue to the right. But you can see the secret underneath it right there. So you can't reach it. What you have to do is make this bridge right here and jump over. And you're going to have to open up the uh, door right there. So drop down, tie a knot. You're going to get a little closer, Jeremy. What are you doing? Pull that open and two logs are going to roll out roll out like an Autobot and then push now you can see that the secret still is not out in the open so this is the point where I'm like what the like what the hell do they want me to do what I didn't notice is that there was actually a third log hidden inside that does not roll out when you open the door so go inside grab the log pull it out and then push that one underneath and that is what will free up that third secret so here I go jumping back up dropping down and bank grabbing it Perfectly executed. All right, the fourth one is going to be when you're at this tractor. This is another one that has a couple of steps to it. You can see the secret in the bottom left right there. What you're going to have to do is climb up onto the top of the tractor using that, uh, is that an exhaust pipe right there? I don't really know what that is. But, uh, tie a knot on that, push it down, mm, bing, just like that, and then tie a knot right over here. That will make a yarn bridge with which you can launch onto the roof, where there is this uh, horn here. Bell, horn, whatever you want to call it. Go on top. I'd like to think it's like a bell from a bicycle. I think it's just like, jing, jing, as the tractor is coming to just massacre everything you've known. Um, what you're going to have to do now is push the bell all the way to the left, and it will go into that puddle right there, and you can use it as a stepping stone so you can cross and get to the secret. So give it a little push. There we go. And then jump on that, jump, hit my head, ow, got a concussion. But I also got my fourth secret, so it was worth it. And for the fifth one in Barry Meyer, you're going to reach this point where you'll see two things of yarn, like two checkpoints. Climb up, tie a bridge right here. So this is what you're normally supposed to do. But what the game wants you to do is launch up to the right 
and use that anchor point up there to climb up and get yarn. Instead, launch to the left and grab this secret out of the nook in the tree. And that is it for Barry Meyer. I look fucking creepy with no yarn. The uh, mountain trek is the next level. What you want to do is slide down, grab this anchor point, and save your life like a badass. And then climb up, tie a knot, hold left trigger, and rappel all the way down to grab this secret out of the nook. And there you go. And when I say nook, I'm not talking about an electronic reading device. I am talking about a nook and a rock. I don't know why I got intense there. Uh, for the next one in Mountain Trek, you'll see this birdhouse up above you. You're going to want to tie a knot on this branch, jump across, and grab this yarn. There you go. And now you have a yarn bridge, so you can launch up, boink, and grab onto this, tie a knot on the birdhouse, swing across the next anchor point. Right, I'm going to go full Spider-Man on this one. And then uh, climb up. Tie a knot here, and I've got myself another yarn bridge so I can launch up and grab the secret from that branch. There you go. And that is number two. Any levels that have a lot of trees, uh, they are annoying when it comes to secrets because they can just pop those secrets wherever they want. Uh, for this section, again, it's going to be one of those teeter-totter things where you have to weigh down one side with something. So to do that, you're going to have to launch your way up here and grab this uh, rusted-out soda can. Push this thing all the way back. And uh, since you've made two yarn bridges, you can push it all the way up and into the cave. Come on, Yarny. Come on, Yarny. Work those quads, man. No pain, no gain. That's what they say. Okay, so you're supposed to weigh down the left side here and run up the right. Instead, go against uh, what everyone tells you. Weigh down the right side and bink, grab that secret from underneath the log. I don't know who left it there. Okay, the fourth one in this level is another one that's kind of a pain. And once again, it has its own achievement related to it. So if you want to see more about getting this collectible, if you're having trouble understanding it from this video, watch our other video um, on this specific achievement, and it will talk about it in more depth. So uh, what you want to do is climb up the right side of this maze area and release that rock. And then I went around right there so I could get more yarn. That's the only reason I climbed back up. Push the rock forward and into this divot right here. Don't go any further than that until you make a yarn bridge right here. If the rock falls down into this hole, then you can't get the secret. Like, it'll be totally stuck there. And then come over here, make another yarn bridge right here. Da -da 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 Tie that up. And then walk all the way back across to push the rock. And there you go. The secret is all the way on the left and uh, kind of up a couple of steps. So you need the rock as a first step for you. So there you go. And then climb up to the left, jump across to the right, grab that. And if you haven't done this secret before, you will unlock the achievement right there called Get a Clue. That is spelled incorrectly. Spelling Nazis everywhere will be praying for another uh, spelling holocaust, which we know is, is coming soon. Uh, so climb up here when you're dodging these logs uh, pretty late into the level. The logs will pile into the water and you're supposed to walk across them to get to the other side. Instead, run back to where they came from and snag your fifth and final secret for Mountain Trek. So there you go, guys. We are on to, uh, what's next? Off the rail, I think. Off the rails! Um, the first secret is going to be under the dock right there. So what the game wants you to do to progress is open this door jump inside and push out this log and start riding it. Instead, you're going to make a yarn bridge right here so that you can actually, um, oh, I'm sorry. You can actually push the log off the left side of the dock. So here we go. Splash into the water, and then you can just ride that thing across just like that. Perfect. So there is your, for that one took me a little while to figure out. That was the first secret for off the rails. The second secret is in the area where you get the Pathfinder achievement. Once again, that's available on AchievementHunter.com if you need guide for that. Um, this one's kind of out in the open, like, you will see it, it's just under this broken dock right here. You gotta, uh, rappel down, and then swing back and forth, dink, grab that, and then quickly climb back up your yarn string. Climb back up your fucking intestines, or whatever yarn he's doing right there. Yay, and then jump in celebration. The third one is gonna be when you're pushing this wheel to lock, uh, like, another teeter-totter device, so you can get across that gap. Run over here, grab this extra yarn, and then, uh, come back backwards towards the hole and rappel down so you grab that extra yarn because you need the anchor point not because you need enough yarn like that's the point of that one and uh just go down and grab that secret off of the uh, edge of the abyss 
Then, uh, the fourth one, here we go. This one, you're climbing up a ravine here, and to progress with the level, you're gonna want to climb up and go to the left. Instead, start swinging from here, and get a nice big swing, whoop, and grab the anchor point on the right, climb up, and the secret is all the way over here. This one's actually kind of difficult, that's a tough swing to get, but once you get it, then you are all good. And for the fifth and final one for off the rails, I got killed by this rock about a million times. The screen will start shaking. You're going to want to pull this stick up like that. It will block a big rock from killing you. And then you got to climb up and grab that extra yarn that's on the top right of the screen. Because without it, you cannot reach the next secret. So I'm climbing up and grabbing that. There we go. The uh, secret is actually where that big rock just came from. So you're going to want to swing all the way over jump over the rock so you're supposed to go up into the right to uh, finish the level but yeah run all the way up this hill and the secret is waiting there at the top and there you go that is five for five in off the rails we are moving on to down the hole which is the last level for this video this level sucks because this water will just fry you just like that the first secret is in that bucket with uh, barrel. That's the word I was looking for. It's in that barrel right in front of me. So I just jump across like a badass right there. You should use the anchor point. Uh, and this is me like, I grab that anchor point and I'm, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I could have just tied this the whole time. Like, motherfucker, why was I jumping across there? It's because I looked awesome. It was Michael Jordan and it was so cool. Okay, so you run forward. The barrels start rolling. Quickly jump back to the left. And then uh, pull the bottle out of this barrel. Go inside and grab your first secret. Uh, the ones in this level are actually pretty difficult. Here's the second one. Um, it is up on top of this kind of rusted out barrel. Uh, jump into the water like an idiot right there. Man, I'm, I'm really happy I wasn't going for the no dying achievement this run. You're going to have to run across, jump and grab that anchor point. Um, you don't even really have to do that, but you need that log. See the log that just went across? This guy? This is what you need. Grab this out of the water. I think if you wait long enough, it will just float over to you without even swinging across. Pull it up, jump, and grab your secret off the top of the barrel. There you go. That is number two for down the hole. Not too bad. The third one is when you are uh, uh, plugging in the lift. A lot of people are going to notice that I really fucked up some words there. I was like, you are uh, uh, with, the, with the lift. So uh, once you plug into the generator, you can see the secret. You saw a flash of it there on the very top left. It's on top of a lamp. To get to it, you have to stand on that ladder behind me. So connect to this anchor point, swing up, and onto the ladder. The Yarny will climb up. Uh, climb up. Son of a bitch. You will climb up, Jeremy. You mispronouncing idiot. So there you go. You can just grab that off the lamp. I almost got fried right there. I don't know if that's a cutscene or if that actually could have killed me, but I have no idea. Next, uh, you will see this weird, like, dust hologram of a worker. And you can see the secret on the left there. This one's pretty easy. Just pull the helmet out of the way, run over it, and grab the secret. Um, that one's really simple. But it's kind of, I think, to make up for the next secret, which is pretty tricky. It's pretty difficult. And again, it has its own achievement tied to it. So, um, if you want a little more depth on this one, make sure to watch the full guide on AchievementHunter.com by uh, Matt. Or here on YouTube, you know, whatever works. But uh, the secret is hidden inside of this box that I'm pushing. So you need to push the box all the way over to the left in order to make a yarn bridge on it and get onto this bulldozer. So your goal right now is to turn on the bulldozer to smash some debris that is on the right side of the uh, screen right now. And what you want to do is climb up here and get this yarn. And what that will do is make an anchor point for you. So here's me just kind of swinging around. I'm having fun. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting a secret. So I climb back up. Now that I have an anchor point that I can use to climb back onto the bulldozer, I don't need that yarn bridge anymore that's in the box. So go back down here. Untie the box. See, I forgot to untie the box. And I was like wondering why it was stopping. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. I'm still tied to it. It's still dragging my intestines all over the place. So untie that. Do the link. And then push the box all the way over to the right. And uh, so this shovel and rock and everything is what the bulldozer has to smash. Now, when you go back inside the bulldozer and lower the chair and pull the lever like you're supposed to to uh, progress in the level naturally, it will also smash this box that's there, leaving behind your secret. Goosh! There is your secret. And uh, once again, this is one that will that uh, has its own achievement. So there's a couple of secrets in this game that have that. 
And uh, that is it for this video. We are more than halfway done with these secrets. I got one more video for you guys coming out soon that you should watch if you want to get all the achievements and get your 100 gamer score. All the achievements, all the secrets, and get your 100 gamer score. And for more achievement guides and Easter eggs and a bunch of shit like that, subscribe to Achievement Hunter, you know, and just tune in for more videos. See ya!